Hello and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. My name is Monica Weitzel. Today I'll be your host in a conversation with two women representing a local nonprofit called 100 Plus Women Who Care, East County. I have with me Bess Wills, the co-owner and general manager of Gresham Ford, and Becky Bennett, the uh, director of development and communications at YMCA Camp Collins. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Hi. Great to have you on the show. So 100 Plus Women Who Care is built on the increasingly popular concept of collective giving, correct? Does that sound about right? I'm wondering how this works in your organization. Bess, maybe you could tell me about that. How how did this come about and, and... and how does it work? Well, in all fairness, um, Sue Piazza, we're always looking for great and simple ways to get money, raise funds for the great nonprofit here in East County. And she was going through um, the internet and came across this. You know, I'm not sure it started on the East Coast somewhere. And quite frankly, just the simple concept of meeting four times a year and a um, hundred people, some are men, or there's a hundred men that care, a hundred women that care, whatever. Anyhow, making a commitment to meet four times a year and give it a hundred dollars to the charity that was chosen that evening. And, you know, quite frankly, to make $10,000 in one hour um, is just incredible, you know, compared to, you know, we've all worked on fundraisers and spent hours and hours and hours to earn three or $4,000. And so, it just seemed like a no-brainer. So that makes sense to me. So you get together. I mean, you have one evening that's probably a bit social, but you're also, are you learning about different organizations at that time? How does that work? Yes. Um, any nonprofit in East County, well, we, we limited our sphere of influence to East County. And so any nonprofit, you know, can get vetted and get on the list. And so that evening, people can nominate um uh, Um, charity of their choice and three charities are chosen Um, and then the pitch a five-minute pitch is given on behalf of that charity of why this money would be impactful to them and then the people in that the room that evening vote and everyone then in the room and that belongs to the organization writes a hundred dollar check to that charity right that's that's super it's simple it's it's uh, effective and I'm sure you make a huge impact uh, Becky, maybe you could tell me, what, how, what do you do now that we have the COVID-19 crisis going on? How do you actually get together to meet and, and learn about other nonprofits and actually um, and figure out a way to gather money together if you're not able to get together? Well, we got together, the steering committee, and had a Zoom meeting to discuss how we would do that because our next meeting was supposed to be on May 12th. And we looked at different logistics, and as we were brainstorming together, we just um, kind of came up with the idea that we would change our meeting to have it be as a Zoom meeting instead of in person. And then um, I work for a nonprofit and a couple other people on our steering committee are also involved with nonprofits. And we decided that nonprofits do need help, but mine doesn't need help as bad as others in our community. So we decided to limit it to three organizations that we thought would make a direct impact right away. Um, to our community. We're letting our members, um, if they would like to give this quarter, they can. If for some reason at this time, it might not be a good time for them to give to another organization because of their own things going on in their household, that's fine too. But we also wanted to open it up to the community as well and decided to do just a day of giving on um, April 30th, the Zoom meeting at seven. And we picked three charities, Meals on Wheels, Birch Community Services, and Snowcap. Um, as our organizations of choice that people can decide if they'd like to donate to. Um, They could donate to all three of them. They could donate to one, um, whatever they'd like. And we just thought that that would be a great way to get some money back into those nonprofits who can help people in our community right now affected by this. That's a a great plan. I I know that Snowcap, Birch, and Meals on Wheels have all been in the East County area for a long time and are very well respected and well-known organizations, but for people that might not know about them, how will they find out about those organizations? During Best, the event? Do you want to tell them about that? Well, you know, a couple ways. Uh, that evening at seven o'clock, you're going to be able to hear um, a five minute presentation from each one of them. Um, on the, you can go to Facebook Live, anybody on that evening. And so 
it's going to be a great information because it's not only about saying, here's these charities and this is what they're doing and donate. We want people to tune in to this seven o'clock live on Facebook to hear what they do so that you can tell your neighbors and other people in the community that might need their services right now. Because that's so important also, you know, to get the word out of where does a family go if the cupboards are bare and they have to wait three more days or another week to get their unemployment check? Well, they go to Snowcap. <laughs> That's right. So, so Snowcap will help people with food needs immediately. Um, Birch Community Services also has food, but they work more from a, um, trying to help people out of their financial situation. Is that correct? Or they do some counseling and classes and that kind of thing as well. Is that right? They're very, um, well, what they do is they work with families in total. You know, they, they, they have a plan for this, where Snowcap is more just an immediate need, more of a crisis thing. Birch uh, Community Services works with that um, family through the, you know, through this. So if they've lost their job, they, you know, tell them how to get their finances in order. They give them food. They give them what they need. And, um, and then when they get back on their feet, they, they have made a commitment to Birch Community to do some service there as well. Right. So they're giving back, which is, is a wonderful way to do it. And I know that they're continuing to work with the families, even through the social distancing. I saw Suzanne Birch talking about uh, about how they're just interviewing their families remotely, just like we're doing. So they're continuing to move forward. And then the last one, Meals on Wheels, can you say just a word or two about the Meals on Wheels people? Well, Meals on Wheels, I mean, you know, you can't, they've just done a phenomenal job because as we know, we have our senior centers here in Gresham. Um, and a lot of seniors go there every day to get their noon meal, if you will. And so they completely rebooted and, are able to um, take those they're doing no contact drop-offs but more importantly they're they're dropping off food but then they're calling the seniors and they're making sure they're staying in touch and they don't have other needs so they you know we always think of meals on wheels as just about food but it's way more than just about the food it's about the community contact it's about making sure that they don't have other immediate needs that aren't getting taken care of Right. And, and I'm really glad to hear that they're making those phone calls because for some people, that's the only person they talk to all day long, maybe all week long. So that's really important, that, that contact. So it's great, great organizations. So just to, to wrap up here, the, the event that you have going is, is for uh, your 100 plus women who care East County. It's going to uh, be a fundraiser for Snowcap Community Charities, um, Birch uh, Community Services and Meals on Wheels. And this will be at 7 p.m. on Thursday, April 30th, uh, on Facebook. And so you go to your Facebook page, which is uh, 100 Plus Women Who Care East County. Do I have that all right? I believe so, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Anything else you want to add here before I let you two ladies go? Just that they don't have to be a member or part of our organization to be participating on this um, program next Thursday. We wanted to open up to the entire community to you know, have people share it with their friends and just spread the word of how they can help others right now in this time so, of need. So if they uh, are not able to donate right at that hour long period that you're doing this event, you'll still be collecting money later and you can do it through the Facebook page? Yeah, we're actually just giving links directly to the organization. So people donate directly to the organizations. They're not donating through us. We're just kind of the mediator to get the word out and help the nonprofits. So it's a wonderful service you're providing. Thank you for doing that. And um, I really, really appreciate the work that you do in the community. And thanks for watching today here on Community Hotline at Home. And from all of us here at Metro East Community Media, stay safe, stay healthy.